seeing a new comedian is like having sex with somebody new for the first time. We all showing up hoping it's going to turn out real good. Not sure if it's going to be over real quick or it's going to end real awkward, leave you with a bad taste in your mouth. If, uh, if it's good, you can go home and tell your friends about me. Come get some more next time I'm in town. If not, then, uh, oh well, I still fucked, all right? And, uh, <laughs> and you can't unfuck me, no matter how hard you try. Oh, I moved, I recently moved to, uh, to this little town outside Philadelphia. It's kind of rougher than I, I expected that shit to be. I'm about to go somewhere with my cousin. We sitting in the car and we see this little kid walking down the street. He had a suitcase behind him. So me and my cousin automatically would get concerned because he was pulling his suitcase down the street, kept looking back, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. My cousin looking at me, he's like, is he running away? I said, I don't know. I'm in the car with you, nigga. Um, so we kept coming down the street, like, should we call somebody? We don't know what the fuck is going on. What do we do in this type of situation? The kid made it to the front of our car. He made eye contact with us. The kid was looking at us, look at him. And we're looking at him, look at us. And he's looking at us, looking at him, look at us, looking at him. He comes over to the window. We roll down the window. He looked at us. Big eyes, he's like, hey, what you need? I got water, I got snacks, I got... I was like, niggas, you hustling? I think he's like eight, nine years old. It's like, he's like, I got everything you need, $2. It's like, that's a good fucking deal now that you mention it, $2. I was like, we ain't got no cash on it right now, but how, you know, how long do you work? He's like, I work many days. I don't know what the fuck that meant. <laughs> I don't know the motherfucking name, but he keep popping up outside the house. Like I saw the nigga last week. I'm taking the trash out. He pull up to me. I don't know where this nigga came from. For one, I took the trash out, put it, I turn around, the nigga that's there. I'm like, the fuck you come from? He's like, hey, bro, you got any cash on you? This nigga's like eight, nine. I was like, I think to myself, he asked me, how, do I have any cash on me? Which is a better question than asking for a specific amount of money. He's, I think he's been here before. He's like, you got any cash on you? I was like, nah, bro, I don't. He's about to walk away, and he turned around, and he looked back at me. He's like, you know what the day is? I was like, shit, Thursday. He's like, nah, it's payday. Everybody got paid today. I'm like, who the fuck you think you talking to? So I looked down, I was like, true? Like, everybody got paid, but you little nigga, get the fuck out of my face. One of my biggest fears is becoming that old nigga. Like, I feel like I'm on the way. Like, you know that nigga that be dancing that, and they snap their fingers when they two-step? I feel like I'm almost there. I was, lady was dancing on me in the club and I was like, hey, and I was like, the fuck did I just do? Nigga, that shit was weird. So I'm trying to do like young shit so that way I can slow down the time period for me being that old nigga. Like, I tried to come up with like new slang and shit, right? Look, don't try to come up with new slang if you're not, you know, st still hip. Came up with some shit and the shit just totally backfired on me. I saw a girl with a really big backside. This is a true story. I was with Daytime. We came up with this shit. Daytime, you can vouch for this shit. We saw a girl with a real big booty. We was like, damn, she got that extra ass. Why I said that shit, we don't fucking know to this day. So a girl asked me what I was working with, right? I was like, shit, girl, I got that extra dick. <laughs> Better come get this while you can, because it ain't always going to be available to you. Now, once again, I don't know why I said this shit. It sounded like something cool to say in the moment. But then I started getting lazy, figured I'd abbreviate, start calling it that ED. Now, nobody had the decency to let me know that medically, scientifically, one of those Khalees, ED stands for erectile dysfunction. So I'm out here hollering at bitches like, hey girl, I got that ED, better come get this while you can, cause it ain't always gonna be available to you. Completely different fucking message of what I was trying to give all people. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my time. Um, if you are on the Instagrams and the Facebooks, uh, you can find me, Barry S. Naylor. Uh, yeah. Um,